hello welcome i'm doing this video today in a different setting because i'm spending a few days away from my house but i couldn't do i couldn't wait i couldn't wait i got something yesterday in the mail that i was so excited for and i can't i couldn't wait to show you guys and i'm talking about the new shelter guys spring 22 medals collection i was very lucky and fortunate to receive this npr i got this beautiful light pink rose bag from Shantakai and they sent me the whole collection I haven't opened it I haven't swatched it or anything I wanted to do it with you guys I already prepped my skin I got some sunscreen on the ultra sun protection sunscreen I also am using the cushion foundation and I already applied concealer and some of the rose sheer glow rose face tint to add a little bit of blow on my face because I'm a little bit dry lately and that rose is really going to help me with my you know humidity and all that a little moisturizing so I did get this uh, collection of PR but everything I'm going to say or will say is all my opinions and I'm going to be always 100% honest with you guys so I do want to start I'm really excited so what I'm going to do is first of all take everything out of the box of the packaging and then show you one by one what the collection consists of in case you haven't seen it yet i know i've seen uh, a couple of um, other content creators talk about this collection but i'm going to treat it as it's the first time you see this this collection so briefly what their uh, this collection is all about it is inspired by the endless wildflower medals in the rolling hills of romania and the quartets the wild medals eye quartet Oh, and it's also celebrating 25 years of Shantikai, so it's kind of like their anniversary collection, or it, the whole year is going to be special because it is the 25th year anniversary. So with the quartet, let me open it as I talk about it. They are proud to support the Villa Avaris Culture Association, and what they do is they work on trying to preserve the disappearing, disappearing wildflower meadows and the species that strive in the Carpathia Mountains um, in Romania. And the packaging always, I shan't cry, the packaging is always beautiful. So this is the packaging of the quartet, kind of like reminiscent of, you know, the box outside. And I love that flower, it's so beautiful. And let's open the quartet. Very similar to, at least a shape, similar to the previous quartets. This one is 2 grams or 0.07 ounce. It's made in Italy. I will do swatching and everything now, but I do want to show everything first. I forgot to mention as well that I do have a little bit of bronzer. The, let's see right now. I'm so excited that I, I'm, I, I ramble around and I forget to, to mention everything in order. So I showed you the, the quartet. Now let's talk about the blushes. They came out with two in the shade Anemone. Anemone. And the other one is Meadow, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, Apple Blossom. Meadow is the lipstick. And look how beautiful, how cute. So pretty. Four grams. And it's made in Italy. I just love their packaging. Look how beautiful that is. I think this is the darker of the two. I hope the lighting is good. I am in, in my uncle's bathroom. <laughs> but this is where I'm staying at. And it's the best room, the best lighting. And I wish I could take off the fan, but I can't. So... I apologize for that I just couldn't wait by the time I get back home it's gonna be too long and I don't want to wait too long this is the other blush this is in the shade apple blossom and I believe this is the lightest of the two I think so really pretty I do have to say that the shades are really similar we'll see it when we swatch it but the blushes are really similar one to the other one is a little bit darker and in the camera it looks like a little bit like plummy but it's not plummy it's like darker a darker shade of pink but we'll see it again we'll see it later in the swatching and then we got or i got <laughs> in the collection three new shades in the lip cheek formula the lip cheeks and the lip veils of chantica are my favorites it's not one of my favorite lipstick formula so i'm really happy excited that they came out with two new shades and wait till you see the packaging it is so so pretty okay so these are the lipsticks 
Oh, I had it upside down. This Shantika, I hope it focuses. And then look at this one. Oh, I just love the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging, for pretty packaging. And this is the third one. So this one, to start with this one, this is Carpathia. We'll give it all a swatch and I'm gonna go wear them when I go to the try on. And then there's, this one is Metal. I think it's the lightest of the three, the pinkiest. And then as typical, they are magnetic. Oh, and they're, I should be made in Italy. They are made in Italy and they're 18 month shelf life. The blushes are 18 month shelf life as well. And the quartet should be probably a little bit longer. 24 months, 24 months shelf life. All right, and, then, and the last one did I get to show you? No, Hocus is the one in the purple packaging. This one, it seems to be like the brightest, but let's see in the swatching how it looks. All right, I should have done one by one, but I, I just couldn't help myself. I had to see everything because it is so, so beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the eyes and then I'll do the blush and then I'll do the lipsticks. So the four shades that come in this quartet are pretty light. I don't expect to be really pigmented, not in the quartets, in the single eyeshadows or maybe like the duels, those are really nice, really pigmented, but the quartets are more subtle more light one of the reasons why i love chanticleer so much so if you're looking for like a really pigmented eyeshadow pot you're not gonna find it in, in these parts not likely but if that's not your thing if you just want a subtle look for like for daytime to go to work or you just like minimal makeup like i do then you'll love these they didn't send me a little tiny brush the precision blend brush it is kind of tiny um, I'm gonna use this like for like eyeliner look, but for the rest of the eye or the rest of the eye look I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty brushes is what I brought. That's what I use today to apply foundation and all and all that I'm going to pick up a fluffy. I have two fluffy brushes here and then the travel sets So I'm gonna use these two number 212 and number 211 My favorite synthetic brushes I'm going to start with this really fluffy brush, the biggest of the two. And before I do that, I'm going to swatch, of course, in my, the back of my hand. I really do apologize. I'm like everywhere, but I, you guys understand how excited I am to receive this NPR. Well, just to receive these items and have them in my hand, I am so, so grateful. But to get them in PR, it's amazing. Chantica is one of my favorite brands, if not my favorite brand. So I'm like really uber excited. Ooh, that brown mat really... And I just swallowed a little bit. It's actually been more pigmented than I thought. So for perspective, there you see the little the little gold color. Little, I mean, that is light. <laughs> and then we have the brown matte and like that taupe shimmer and the pink kind of satin. -y. It's not really shimmer, but it's not matte either. It's like a satin. And if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm not a big pink person. But I will give it a try because it does have trying to get it closer it does have a slight slight shimmer you see it oh, like a sheen oh i love that one i have to i'm gonna use all of them of course maybe that gold one is not good for like the tear duct area but we'll use it regardless all right so let's start I'm so excited i'm gonna start with a brown mat and apply it on the crease area like i usually do nothing nothing out of the ordinary it does have a little bit of fallout on the pan but in my experience, the Shantikai eyeshadow pots or eyeshadow formula don't fall out on the face. So hopefully this one don't either. I'm going to apply some here in the crease. Ooh, it's really pigmented. Wow. These items are, are available in the Shantikai website. I believe they might be available in other retailers probably like Neiman Marcus or something like that but I'm not 100 percent sure. I know they're available on the Shantikai website. I'll put it on the link in the description down below. How pretty and I only swept it just once or twice. Really pigmented more than I than I originally thought which is great. Let's 
kind of, kind of like sets the base. And I wish the lighting was a little bit better. Okay, so I'm back and now I can get it to focus more. But I think this is a little bit better. I think this is better. So I finished up doing my crease on this eye. I'm going to work now on my left eye, but look how beautiful it just blended out so nicely, so evenly. And I didn't have to go back to the pan, like this is all just a couple of swipes, swirls, and I'm good. I do have a huge mirror here, so that helps. So, so pretty. Let me do the other eye now. And then for now, there's no fallout on my face. So I'm done with that shade. And now I'm gonna go and pick up with that same brush. I'm gonna go now with this beautiful taupe. And I'm gonna put it like over the, the brown shade, but like just trying to concentrate on the outer edge here. This is so pretty. Maybe it's better with a finger, but I'm gonna try with a brush. I could wear this color just by itself. It is so pretty. And I see that I, I think I'll be able to do multiple looks with this bar. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could see it. Let me know in the comments below. Like, I really want to know. This was like an impromptu video because I really wanted to play with these items and show you guys ASAP. Let me know if you guys are okay with this. The quality, and I think the lighting is really good, but maybe not the sound because, well, I am in a closed space, but the fan is on and all that. So I do apologize, but let me know if if you guys were okay with this. Like, I really wanna know. I kind of feel uncomfortable showing you guys the makeup like this, but I just, I just couldn't wait. Because I don't know when I'll be able to go back home. I mean, I know when I'm going to back home, but it's gonna be a few days and I don't want to, I don't want you guys to miss out on that. Are you able to see how beautiful? I'm gonna get close so you guys can see. Really pretty. I am going now to pick up the smaller of the two fluffy brushes and I'm going to work on that pink. I'm gonna add some pink on the inner corner. You know what? I'm not gonna do pink today. Although it's really pretty. But I think I'm just gonna do the gold shimmer because I am, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna go better with me. Let's see what, I don't know, should I do the pink? I think I'm just gonna stick to the gold and then I'll do pink another day. Ooh. The pink is really pretty and it has a beautiful shimmer. Maybe I'll just add a little bit like in the middle, like a pop. Oops. I'm gonna use my finger to see. Because usually shimmers, yeah, definitely. Shimmers are applied better with finger, in my opinion. Oh, definitely makes a difference. It is so pretty. And I swipe off a little bit of that brush and I go with the pink and just add a little bit like here in the middle. Mm, very subtle. I'm gonna use my finger. It's really subtle, but it, it is really pretty. Did you guys see that? It's like reminding me a little bit to like candy, calling cotton candy. Go back with that yellow and add a little bit more. So, so, so pretty. Now I'm gonna pick up the brush that they give me, gave me, the precision brush. And I'm going to go in with the, I'm going to do the brown taupe, the shimmery one, and put it in the waterline. It's not really doing much in the waterline, so I'm going to go with the, the brown one, the darker one, and just a little bit, yeah, that, that's better. Now we're going to move in, move out, move on with the blushes. I'm going to swatch both of them and then I'm just gonna buy one of them because like I'm going out to see now a client so I don't want to have like one blush on each side and I know one is gonna be lighter better on me than the other so the one on your left is apple blossom and the one on your right is anemone 
and then the end. So I'm going to be using Apple Blossom, which I think is a better color for me. And I'm going to pick up a fluffy brush, the 111 from BK Beauty. And just swirl it a little bit. Ooh, it does pick up a lot of product. So I'm going to go in slowly. Take it to the temple, to my forehead. It's very really soft, subtle. Pick up a little bit more. So pretty. Really soft, really subtle. I like it. I assume you could build it up if you want, but I am good with this. It is so pretty, so delicate. Now I want to do some swatching of the lipsticks. We have Carpathia, Meadow, and Crocus. I'm going to do swatching first, and then we'll go lip swatching from lightest to darkest. Okay, from top to bottom, we have Meadow. Then we have... Uh oh Um... We have meadow in the top and in the middle we have crocus and the bottom we have carpathia. To be completely honest, like I always am, I think these two, maybe the lighting's not helping me, but these two are really similar to each other, really similar. One is a little bit more brighter, like a brighter pink than the other, and this one is more peachy. So this one is definitely different. These two are very similar. But let's do some swatching. I'm going to start with metal first, which is the lightest of the two. Mm. It does have that vanilla scent, and I just love the formula of the lip cheeks. So this is metal. It does have a little bit of, well, like I said, it's a peachy one. It's a little bit more peachy, really pretty, very spring, and it feels really good, as I expected. Now let's go into Crocus. Feel fantastic and it's a beautiful bright pink color. And then finally we have Carpathia. Although I'm not, a very, I'm not a pink person and I thought I would have liked the peachy one, uh, what's it called, metal. I would have liked it a little bit more, but I think I like this one best of the three. Because it's pinkish, but it has a little bit of a peach into it. And it looks really, really pretty. I think I'm going to keep this one. All right, I'm going to fin finish off with the mascara and then I'll come back for my final thoughts. So I applied mascara and, of course, the Chantecaille Full C's lash mascara and I also have highlighter which I haven't put on yet and I'm going to use the Lotus Radiance highlighter just a little bit here this collection all right i do love the eyeshadows they behave beautifully they blend beautifully they're so pretty in the shades uh you only need a little bit i didn't have to go back and dip in the pan many times to get this pigmentation or this amount of you know amount of product it is really really beautiful the blushes honestly if i had a choice i wouldn't pick both of them up because they're so similar in shades I don't know how the other shade would look on anemone, right? I don't know how that's going to look in a darker skin. Maybe it's better for darker skin than people, but for me, I think apple blossom is just okay. With one, you're fine. You don't need to get both unless you want to. And with the lipsticks, it's kind of the same thing. If you want to get all three, they are very similar. One is more peachy than the other two, and but the two pinks are really similar to each other. So maybe you don't have to pick up all three unless you want to. Um, I think you're fine with one of the pinks, which are really two that you like. I think this one's my favorite one. Which one's this one? Carpathia? Yeah, and it's not because it's a green packaging, although green is my favorite color. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's the prettiest of the three, at least on me and my complexion. 
I love the packaging. I love the whole collection. Everything is beautiful. The what's behind it, how they're trying to help the diversity of the Carpathian Mountains and all that. I think that's wonderful. And yeah, this is my video for today. I'm sorry again. I apologize for the how it's not the typical place that I film, but I really wanted to get this out. I really wanted to show you guys. I was really excited to play with this. I could have just done a look and sh you know shared it on Instagram and went on the video, but I really wanted to do this video and, and show you guys. So again, I'm gonna put links of everything that I use on my face, including the new collection down below in the description box. And I want to thank you guys for coming over to watch me and thank Shantika as well for sending me this beautiful collection my way. I really, really do love it. I love everything about the brand. So you can understand how excited I am. And yeah, I loved everything. What else can I say? So thank you guys for coming over again. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. None of this is, is, is available to me or none of this would be possible if you guys wouldn't support me and watch my videos and like and subscribe and share with your friends leave me comments that all that i appreciate it and, and it's all thanks to you let me know of everything that i used today what was your favorite what you didn't like i want to hear everything positive or negative like let me know your thoughts like your honest thoughts i really would like to hear from you guys so thanks again for coming over i really do appreciate it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time hi